We're recording now. Okay, thank you, Kevin. So welcome everyone to the 156th uh, meeting of the uh, Internet Society's Board of Trustees. Um, today, we're gonna have a very short meeting. We have a, a single topic on the agenda, which is the clarification of the conflict of interest policy um, that applies to, to the board and to trustees and, and interested parties. So, but first, uh, let me start with uh, welcoming everyone. Um, we have all trustees except uh, Maimuna and Mike who couldn't join. We, we didn't get regrets, but they haven't been able to join. And, and there's some people having internet problems, so maybe they, they couldn't join actually. But, um, but everyone else is here. Um, any declaration of conflicts given the agenda? Which is itself about conflict of interest. Okay, thank you. Um, so, you know, just uh, to dive straight into, into the actual agenda, uh, as I mentioned as background, um, in this case, it's not a complete clarification of the whole conflict of interest policy. It's just a clarification on a particular section that we were discussing. Um, the governance committee um, was working on, on clarifying it. And now we're gonna basically have the proposal to amend the conflict of interest policy by based on that proposal. Um, John, as the chair of the GovCom, you want to make any comments about that? Uh, no, I think we've um, discussed this at length and everybody's had plenty of chance to comment on it and, and review it. Okay, thank you, John. Any other comments before we pass the resolution? Yeah, uh, this is George. Uh, uh, so, uh, George, I'm please. planning to abstain on this and it's in, I, I see nothing wrong with the proposal as it exists with the one exception that it doesn't give enough weight to situational issues where where it's possible that there might be a, a, a small violation of the wording, but that a recusal might be an effective mechanism for dealing with it. Uh, okay, Th thanks for the heads up, George. Um, any other comments? Okay, good. So then I need someone to move. So Richard moves, anyone seconds? Laura seconds. And we're gonna um, have a roll call here. So as usual, I will go um, with your names one by one and uh, you can vote yes, no, or abstain. And, and John as our secretary will lock the votes. So I will start in the order of, of um, well, that you guys appear on my screen that may or may not be the same one as you have there. So pay attention. Uh, we start with George, please. Abstain. Okay, thank you. Um, John? Yes. Laura? Yes. Richard? Yes. Uh, Pepper? Yes. Ted? Yes. Um, Heather? Yes. Uh, Walid? Yes. Um, Olga? Abstain. Um, and myself, Gonzalo, is yes. So if I counted correctly, it was eight yes votes and two abstentions. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And then two, two trustees who were not here that are Maimuna and uh, Mike. Okay. So with that, the resolution passes. That was the, the only um, item on the agenda. Now, when we have basically uh, amended the, the policy, uh, we will be asking, or the, or the audit committee will be asking all trustees to basically look into their disclosure form to see if with the new policy, you, you feel the need to disclose any, any potential conflicts or, or anything like that. And then we will, we will take it from there as per our processes. Gonzalo? Uh, yes, Olga, please. I would like to make a statement. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay, I will read it and then I can send the text to, to John. Uh, I respectfully fully request that this statement is included in the formal minutes of this meeting. I have honorably served the ISOC Board of Trustees for five years. Um, during this time, I have seriously sought to advance the mission of ISOC as set forth its articles of incorporation. With the changes made to ISO conflict of interest policy today and my intention and desire to continue as non-voting member of the ICON GNSO Council, I hereby tender my resignation effectively today as an ISO trustee. I also tender my resignation 
as chair of the ISOC Board of Trustees Governance Reform Working Group and the Non-Com Committee. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Olga. Um, I mean, I, I obviously respect your decision. It's it's a pity to to see you leave the board. Um, um, but well, we will we will keep in touch, of course. Of course. Um, yeah. Thanks, Olga. Gonzalo, um, will you entertain a motion to thank Olga for her service? Uh, yes. Can we um, put it I, together I, very I, quickly? I, I can. <clears throat> I, I, I can write the motion now, which is resolved that the Board of Trustees thanks Olga Cavalli for her dedicated service to ISOC to, 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 to the society. Okay, um, um, so I need I, I need someone to move. Fed. I move. Um, Fed per seconds. Um, we are passing this by acclamation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thanks, thanks again, Olga, for all all your service and and all these five years that we have basically served. Uh, together on the on the board. Sorry to lose you, but I think you'll you'll do great in your new role, and we really appreciate your continuing to serve the internet in a different role, even if we yeah. can't continue to capture your your labor here. <laughs> Thank you. You know, we have different roles and different activities, and I always been on the side of the community. I will be active in the national uh, chapter as well, so we will keep in touch. This is why internet is for, and I'm almost in my fifth year. Um, and starting with the China. So I think it's it's an interesting opportunity for me to work there and perhaps use all the all the the knowledge I've got from you in this five years in the ISOC board. Thanks again for everything. Thank you. Thank you, Olga. And and it's good to know that we have a friend over there actually. Uh, if, and, of uh, course, <laughs> if you come down here in the south, yeah. don't forget to tell me and, if we are able to travel someday in the future. And I particularly would like to say thank you to Olga for all the support she's given to the causes for many developing countries and the parts of the world that are in best need for internet access. And I think her role will be equally, if not more important in other uh, venues as well. So she, she should keep up the great work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any, any other statements or anyone? Requesting the floor. Yeah, just you know, Olga, please, please email me your statement so I can be sure to. I will right now. Right Thanks. now. Okay. Thank you. Um, it's um, it's a sad moment for me at, at least, but uh, but it is it is what it is. Okay. Um, so um, well, the only thing on the agenda is any other business. So anyone has AOB before. We close the meeting. Okay, so then I, I move to adjourn. Okay. Okay, John seconds. Okay. So the meeting is over. You can stop the recording, Kevin. Right.